Hey, it's Joel. I know it's been a while, but I've got some stuff in front of me, and I think it's time for another Fan Mail Friday. Hello, I'm Joel. In case you don't know it, this is Fan Mail Friday, and it's here on Technically Nerdy because we have a main channel, 3D Printing Nerd, where we host and show off all sorts, all sorts, all sorts of really cool 3D printing stuff. We were just in Prague, and we were a part of the Prusa Maker Fair, or the Prague Maker Fair, and Prusa, of course, helps puts that on. We also showed a really cool behind the scenes tour of the Prusa factory. I really hope you guys got a chance to see that. Also before that, we were in Toronto and we were with Mosaic. We got to debut a new functionality of their canvas slicer where they got to paint models. We also were part of a meetup and Sean ate some hot sauce uh, potatoes. We also did this crazy video where we did uh, 21 pallets to create this crazy model. It's awesome. Also there at the Mosaic meetup, speaking of Mosaic, Someone gave me this $50 US. And it's crazy because we were in Canada and we weren't here in the US, so they had $50 US. So thank you for that. Let's take care of business. First things first. First, we start with this letter from CD3D. CD3D. Hey Joel, this is just a quick letter so I could send some money for the Seattle Children's Hospital. We've met at Murph, we chat on Twitter, and I'm a Patreon supporter. I love what you do and thank you for helping me in my 3D printing journey. Keep up the good work. High five. Cyber Dustin 3D. There it is. Cyber Dustin 3D. Oh, the white balance is off. Okay, that's better. Uh, Cyber Dustin 3D. There it is. Uh, you, whatever you sent me was enough to throw the white balance off on the camera. Here is a self addressed stamped envelope and here is G Mini Christmas. $50 US. <sighs> Dang it. Thank you very much. I'll see you on Twitter. Let's take care of business. First things first. Dustin, you get stickers. Next is this box from, from Fernando Hernandez. Fernando Hernandez. Let's see if I can open this up without hurting myself. What the? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Inside we have Haribo berries. We've got Haribo dinosaurs. We have a, oh, oh, okay. There's a letter and a self-addressed stamped envelope. And then there's, oh, look at this. <laughs> look at that, that is awesome. Boy, that has a smooth movement to it. To Joel and Sean, my name is Fernando and I'm a maker and a 3D modeler in New York City. I created the Lost in Space and Timeless models. You have previously printed. Yes, yes. TSK001 on the Twitters, I believe. Yep, TSK001 underscore 3D. <laughs> Before anything, I wanted to thank you both for the great content you produce, and it's even better now that Sean is in the same building. I've learned a lot through the years. I was originally reaching out to acquire some Sean stickers to add to my Railcore sticker project panel, but there, there's a spot next to the Joel sticker with his name on it. Since I was already reaching out, I decided to include a few more things because it is not every day you send a package to the 3D Print Master Duo. <laughs> I have included the following. Two Haribo candies, two round stickers, two die cut stickers, a self-addressed stamped envelope, and an equal space divider from Thingiverse. Equal space divider. I like this. The equal space divider is a tool used to be able to mark out where to place things with equal distance apart from each other. For example, a carpenter would use it to mark out holes for a coat rack and make sure they are all the same distance apart or in a cabinet to place the holes for the shelves. In my design, you can keep printing more and more parts to get you, or get more and more parts to get more points to mark. Hope to see you guys at Earth or New York Maker Fair. Well, Fernando, that was really kind of you. And $20 for the kids, that is amazing. I've got that envelope there. We'll get some Sean stickers in it as well. Well, we know New York Maker Fair isn't gonna happen, but Earth is happening, the East Coast Rep Rap Festival, and I'm 99% sure Fingers are all crossed that we're going to be able to make it out there. It should be a wonderful time. It's October 11th, 12th, and 13th in Maryland, and information is online. But wow, you got candy, stickers, envelope. We're in a bit of a pickle here because while I'm recording this, Sean is actually in a moving van, moving the rest of his stuff to Seattle. So we're going to take care of business right first. Okay, so first things first. And Fernando, uh, I don't have the ability to get Sean stickers. I don't know where he keeps them. What I'll do is I'll send him a text and I will make sure Sean stickers get in this envelope. That is the plan. 
Thank you very much. Well, last and certainly not least is this box from Dr. Howie. This looks like a, a coaster of sorts. Oh, here are some, looks like rhinos, little print and place rhinos. Here is a cement mixer and oh, look at this. Big Turk, Turkish Delight, Coffee Crisp, Crunchy, <laughs> Canadian Smarties, those are the best ones, an Aero Bar, and a Canadian Kit Kat. Oh, that's fantastic. There is a letter. Oh, and there's, there is, holy cow, there is $40 Canadian. Wow, wow, okay, let's, let's read this letter. High five, Joel. I just wanted to thank you for all your content. I've included $40 Canadian for, Ch for Seattle Children's Hospital in a self-addressed envelope. No postage, though, as I don't think the USPS allows our stamps. Don't worry. You included $40 Canadian. I got the stamps. You will also find selection of candy bars. They are special because you cannot buy these in the U.S., so enjoy this secret stash with your family. I've sent you my maker coin. The symbol is a Sleipner, Odin's eight-legged horse, a rhino from one how and a, and a uh, end scale cement truck. You have helped this old guy with bad typing skills <laughs> with the learning curve of 3D printing. I model in one, one 60th end scale model railroad, so very small. I have a Snapmaker 1, a one how D9 Mark II. Oh, and it's got a Bontech extruder and a BL Touch for self-leveling. I use Simplify 3D as my slicer and I'm starting to learn Fusion 360. Now there is a learning curve. Boy, isn't that the truth? With your help, I have managed to get both printers to work properly and problem solve many issues. My one problem is getting bigger prints in ABS to not shrink off the build plate. Any suggestions? Once again, thank you. Well, uh, Dave Howie, Dave Howie, that was cool. Thank you for this wonderful stuff. ABS is tricky because not only, you, you need to keep the drafts off, but you have to have a really good build plate solution for it. Uh, a lot of people use an ABS slurry so that is ABS with acetone kind of mixed together. You can paint it on the bed and then your ABS prints will stick to it. And then when your ABS prints come off the bed, you can kind of shave around the sides to get whatever came up with it. And then it sticks really well. Vision Miner has this nanopolymer adhesive that goes on uh, the borosilicate plates. Uh, it'll hold ABS really well because I do that in my fun matte HT. And uh, let's see what else. I know some people still like hairspray. Um, uh, the Wham Bam sheets, I haven't tested ABS on, but they hold on to PLA and PETG just fine. Um, you might you might try PEI. I'm not sure. I don't do a lot of ABS printing. Uh, and it just, I have a fun mat with that Vision Miner nanopolymer adhesive. And that's what I use for ABS adhesion in that machine. That machine is also enclosed. I don't know, put a garbage bag or a box over the machine. I hope, I hope those suggestions help you out. But you... <laughs> You did send in some awesome stuff. Thank you for the candy and the models. Let's get down to business though. First things first. You sent me some candies and models and a significant contribution to Seattle Children's Hospital. So Dave, you get stickers. There we have it. A quick, simple, but incredibly wonderful Fan Mail Friday is in the books. We gave a lot of money to Seattle Children's Hospital, and in the end, I opened up a bunch of packages with a lot of really awesome stuff in it. A big thanks for everyone that was able to send something in. If you'd like to send something into the channel, the address is in the description of every video. You know what? We do have another channel, like I said, 3D Printing Nerd, where we explore the wonderful world of additive manufacturing, and we try to teach you something and have fun along the way. If you go to YouTube, which I think you're on right now, and you look up 3D Printing Nerd, you should find it. Big thanks for everybody that stayed this far in the video. You are awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. I love you all, and as always, high five.